What is up, I'm Alex, it's me, I'm a Jane, I'm a Jane TV, and yes, I'm back. Um, obviously, I was away for two weeks, and so I had a vacation from uni, so I came back for the second semester, just started, I missed out two lessons because I overslept twice. I hope tomorrow is no issue. So, with that being said, we are going to focus on this, uh, which is the BTS comeback. So this is we're going to start. Obviously, I've seen Black Swan. It was amazing. I've seen Sugar's um, intro for his um, solo bit. Amazing. So we're going to do. Obviously, why not just react to J Hope's ego? So we're going to do J Hope's ego. Oh my God! From BTS. This is the new album for BTS. I'm very excited. I'm, I don't know what to expect. So this is the comeback trailer for, for you know, for Map of the Soul 7. So this is the outro. So this is basically the outro for Ego. So it's obviously J-Hope. So we're going to do BTS's Ego in 3, 2, 1. Go, go. You know, this is going to be big hits, even bigger year. I c Ooh. Oh, I like this! Oops. Dude. Oh, this is all the flashbacks. Oh, oh. Oh, I can't think. Oh my god. Let me just pause this. What the flip? Why does this happen to me? I hate when there's so many stuff and I don't use them. Okay. I'll deal with that. What the heck? That's just... Oh, these papers are falling. They're so annoying. Like, no, don't want you here. How heavy are you? Still heavy. It's because I'm not drinking much of sea salt. So, we're just continuing. Did you just see that? That was amazing. I really enjoyed that. That was all the flashbacks for us older OG armies. We've seen all of this. Oh my goodness. I feel so old. I feel so old. I feel so old. Mainly because I've been with BTS for such a long time. Oh, that's, that's, thank you guys. That was very nostalgic. <laughs> that was the best gift ever. So, we're just continuing with hubby. Oh, he's so handsome. Hobby is very handsome. People who say he's ugly, your mum is ugly. Because he is gorgeous. Look at him, he's beautiful inside out. He is funny as hell. He has incredible energy. Is that a doctor checking on his health? Look at him! Beautiful man. I love it. Oh, this is such a fun song. You know that when it comes to hobby, hobby is more the fun side of the group, like out of the, you know, the rappers. I love this! Oh, oh, this is so cute. <laughs> he actually recreated his picture. So they put some of his old pictures as a kid. That's so. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Whoever drew him with all the like famous figures, you're a genius. This is a fun video. I can see that those jeans are coming back. They're so the 90s or the early 2000s. I mean, yeah. My brother used to wear them, actually. My my siblings, my older siblings. I don't know, because my mum always dressed me in dresses, in cute dresses, so it makes more sense. I'm so happy for my boys. 
And you know what? I have to admit, I actually really love the, you know, for the song for Black Swan. That has been my favourite song from the album. That song and the choreography and for the music video, for, well, it's more the dance performance, which is uh, choreograph choreographed by Martha Graham's um, dance company is amazing. I loved it. I loved every second. It was just so powerful. Ow. Uh, yeah, I had to click my finger because it was hurting my wrist. And Yeah, I always click my fingers. I know it's bad, but I feel that my fingers feel relief when I give it a good little pop. I like this! Oh my god, that was a 10 out of 10. What I love about it is the fact that they incorporated more of most of J-Hope. You know, this is more like J-Hope. You know, J-Hope is more the fun side of the group. You know, he's very, you know that he has incredible energy. I wish I had that energy as much energy as he does. Or probably I do, I just don't show it here on camera. But, yeah. Yeah, I loved it. I loved, I loved the the colours of the music video. I love the fact that he put some his old pictures as a child. He recreated one of the pictures, which is really cool. I haven't seen those recreation of childhood pictures to older pictures to old person to present person from the past. I don't know how to explain it. You know, I've seen those pictures that you recreate a picture that was a once upon a time of childhood. So. That was amazing. That was really good. I love that, and I love the fact like when the music video began, they just go backward to all the music videos that BTS has done throughout the years, and I love this. I I feel like I said I feel old, and I feel very appreciated for for being such a faithful army for such a long time, being with them, seeing them grow. Like I said, I said this tons of time when it comes to BTS. I've seen them grow, I've seen them develop as artists and they just mould their craft and it just it's just beautiful to see. I and you know honestly this is the type of things that most K-pop idols do miss out because most of their companies don't allow them. Whereas this is why I like about Big Hit. Big Hit let them such companies like Big Hit play this kinda when it comes to the men. They're letting them a little bit more freedom, um, especially um, YG, I don't know. They do let them, but at the same time, I don't know, it's confusing. I think they, they do, right? They do let them express their music, but however, they treat the women, the girl groups like crap. So that doesn't make sense. Uh, fix yourself. Um, yeah, Big Hit is one of them. JYP, obviously, you know JYP let their artists to grow, find their own niche in the music industry, especially in K-pop, and players kind of do. They start laying them to, you know, do their own music, which you see in Seventeen, New East is expressing a little bit more than they did when they first began, and now they they're one of those groups that are top groups right now. If it wasn't for Produce 101, no one would know who New Easter was, or is, or was. Because uh, they're still together, so thank God they didn't disband. Because um, I always knew those the potential this group has. They, these groups have so much potential. And now you're seeing TXT, who's just starting a big hit, they, they, they are still searching for that type of sound, which they did eventually, because they sound nothing like BTS which is a good thing. We don't need another BTS copycats. It is not needed. And when you see groups like this, it's a group like TXT and other groups out there that try not to be like EXO. They're not trying to be the next BTS or any of the, the most popular groups right now that are actually huge right now. They're not trying to be like them. They're trying to be their own type of sound, which makes more which makes it more beautiful as an art because you know when it comes to music it's it's like art it, someone paints and they're telling the story so this is what they should be doing and i love the fact this ah oh, j-hope as always j-hope would never disappoint me and he's so handsome oh my goodness wow even last year when i saw him in um 
in a K-pop uh, concert for BTS last year in summertime. I could not keep my eyes off J-Hope because J-Hope, I swear to the Lord Jesus Christ that is up there right now, he is my witness. His tan skin, that tan skin, he's more tan than I am. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm stressing, really. That's why I'm biting my nails, my fingers. I'm stressing. He was stressing me because of the fact that he's so beautiful. He is so good looking. That skin, that melanin was popping on that day. That day was no joke. I could not keep my eyes off of him. It was ridiculous. Even though my bias, my ultimate bias is Jimin. You've seen it on my rucksack. You've seen it. If you're following on my Instagram, you know I have a rucksack of Jimin. I had another rucksack. I threw that away because it just became yeah. But the one I have right now is 100% picture of Jimin. I love my Jimin and this right here was, was everything I needed. I think I'm going to keep without the books because it does look ugly. So, so I can lean my head, my arms like this because I have no, I have nothing to say. There is nothing to say about this. So with that being said, Anyon everyone and Sarah Hale.